Uh, I got into boxing at the age of 13. Um, I was doing martial arts at the time and I wasn't really liking it. And I asked my dad if uh, I could do boxing. And he told me, are you sure you want to do boxing? If I don't see improvement in a month, I'm going to take you out. And then uh, ever since, I joined the boxing club of San Jose Pal. And he saw I liked it. He saw I was dedicated. And he just left me there ever since. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize. So I was... I realized I was I liked working out and I was able to push myself to the extent where not many others were able to push themselves. Um, a lot of the times we would have a beginner's class and an advanced class at San Jose Pal, and I would be in the beginner's class and I would stay all through the advanced class. Uh, but I always looked up to a lot of fighters in the gym because I wasn't at that level that they were at the time. Uh, but I knew I could get there. It was just a matter of time But I, I feel what separated me the most and what I had was like a hard work ethic over everybody else And I just put that to use every day every single year uh, Until now I still keep that same uh, work ethic so Herb Stone actually was one of the Well my manager first my manager But he was one of the people who saw me sparring and who was able to notice the work ethic that I had during sparring, when I was sparring Jonathan Chicas at the time in San Francisco, um, Herb Herb was able to guide my career in so many ways. Um, there were so many things I didn't know about boxing at the time when I went pro with Herb, as far as how to even get a fight, um, how it works with tickets at the time when I was selling tickets. I was just so lost, and I'm just so fortunate enough to have somebody grab me at the time, somebody who cared about me, and somebody who did everything for the benefit of the fighter and who wanted to help me and build me and actually somebody who actually believed in me because uh, not many people did believe in me at the time so having someone like him and a man like him who actually believed in me other than my dad was just uh, it, was, it was a dream come true I feel like me as a kid all I needed was a chance and he was able to guide me and give me that chance as a kid and um, I'm just uh, so thankful um, I always think about him and I'm just thankful to have him have guided my career and teach me so many things about life. Yeah, so to get signed by Top Rank, it was a, it was a work in progress. Uh, Herb Stone and me, we started off selling a lot of tickets since our first pro fight, just to even fight on shows. Um, and to get signed to Top Rank, it was like a, another opportunity and another step forward to my dream of becoming a, a you know like a world champion and getting known because I knew uh, Herb always told me having a promoter behind you is everything you have to have the right promoter and the right people behind you so um, knowing I was getting with top rank one of the best in the world I was just I was just so happy that you know I finally accomplished my 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 first dream which at the time was getting signed to promoter um, you know, it's step by step. You can't just think about the last dream. You gotta think about, you gotta set different goals for yourself. And I remember at the time when I was about seven and no, eight and no, my goal was to get signed to a promoter. And as soon as I got signed to that, I checked that off the list and my goal was to get a title. And now that I fought for the title, I checked that off the list and you know, step by step. So my next step is to, to fight bigger names and, and win a world title eventually. But the first thing is fighting my five March 10th. What's my wife for boxing? My wife for boxing, I feel, is different than a lot of people. A lot of people do this because they want to be a world champion. A lot of people do this because they just want to be known. I feel like my why is because I want to change the life that I live. I want to change the life that I live with my family um, and the place we live in. I feel like um, I fight for not only myself, but I feel I fight for my family and for my future, you know? Um, I have a full-time job, but it's not the best job, but Boxing has became a a career for me that I am becoming dependent on it and then that I know it'll work out for me if things go good. Um, so it's became a part of my life to where I really need this to work out so that my future and my family can be secured. So um, yeah, I don't I don't fight for for titles, I don't fight for belts, I fight for uh, financial stability for my family and hopefully um, Everything goes good, and that's why I train so hard is knowing that I have them rooting for me behind my back. And, and that's really who I fight for, is for myself, my family, my dream, my dad's dream, and just, just all together, you know. People will know me as the, I think people will know me as the kid that, uh, that started an amateur career and somebody who never gave up. Uh, 
no matter what people thought about him, no matter um, how big he was or who he was, he worked hard and he achieved his dreams. And you know, I hope every everybody could remember me as the guy who made it possible. You know, the nobody nobody knew about me or thought I would make it this far, and here I am today, or five years later. You know, did what I did and had a successful career from uh, hard work.